That's a rather bold video title, but let me explain. I've seen quite a few videos here on YouTube where people have explained how a compressor works. Technically, they are not wrong at all. Most of them can explain how a compressor works way better than me. But knowing how a compressor works technically isn't really saying much on how a compressor pedal works when you use it for guitar and by that I mean a compressor pedal that sits between the guitar and your amp in the signal chain. Simply put compression is the process of reducing the dynamic range between the loudest and the quietest part quietest parts of an audio signal. This is done by boosting the quieter signals and attenuating the louder signal. It compresses the signal, it evens out everything. I could have made a really fancy graphics here to visualize, but hey, I have hands. The compressor was first created to be used in studios and the technical explanation of compression makes a lot more sense in this setting, I think. Grossly oversimplified, a studio compressor gives your mix more life, loudness and punch by compressing individual tracks or the whole mix together. But for me, it really doesn't work like that for compressor pedals. The technical aspects are the same, yes, but you don't use it for the same things. It's a guitar effect that is fairly subtle depending on how you use it. And to me, it's quite a different animal than compression done in a mix. I just got the Walrus Audio Mira Optical Compressor, a fantastic compressor pedal. I'm using that in this video, so that's why you see that paid promotion thing down here. And I will use that to showcase some different ways of using a compressor pedal. And I'll try to explain them as non-technical as possible and tie that to the sounds that you are hearing so you can understand how a compressor pedal sounds and not how it works and how it can sound different with different uses. And the first one I like to call the squash light. It can be everything from subtle to fairly noticeable and you can sort of hear that the compressor is clamping together the attacks of the guitar sound. Here is an example and yeah of course it's under the bridge by the red hot jalapeno peppers. Please uh, don't play that riff on this channel, thank you. Yeah. For the next sound we have the squash, even more of the first one we did and you can really hear the compressor working in this case. It's very punchy and rubber bandy, often used for chicken picking, country stuff and funk. <laughs> So a side effect of having a compressor boosting the quieter signals of your guitar sound is more sustain. That's why it's pretty normal to use a compressor for slide guitar since you don't necessarily pick every note in a melody run on a slide guitar. It's nice to have something to keep the signal leveled. I call this the squash o sustainy. <laughs>
for the next one I'm maxing out the compressor to get as much rubber band clamping sound as possible. I call it the Squashorama and it's a sound that I often heard with Tame Impala. Uh, Kevin Parker from Tame Impala uses it together with a bunch of other effects to make a very unique and fun guitar sound. Some guitar players like to use a compressor pedal together with overdrive, either a driven amp or a overdrive pedal. This works pretty well because a very loud guitar amp naturally compresses the sound and your ears also compresses super loud sound. So a compressor used together with drive is sort of emulating that everything is louder than it really is. And it's a very cool, great sound yeah <laughs> Last one is probably my favorite and that is to use a compressor pedal for bass. I just love the sound of a dry bass with flat wound strings and a compressor. The string attack is really clicky and you can hear that rubber band thing a lot with the sound. Uh, I love it. Yep. <laughs> So I really hope you learned the practical use of a compressor pedal in this video. Of course knowing the technical stuff doesn't hurt and knowing what knobs to turn to get different sounds is indeed helpful. But I think it's important to differentiate between theory, studio compression and a compressor pedal that goes early in the signal chain. They are way different to me at least. I'm trying to reach 7 million subs on this channel before this coming Friday. So please sub if you haven't already. Leave a like also, that really helps. Thanks, you are awesome and goodbye.